this site has been empty, I believe, for over 20 years. And it's just been a desolate site. And it's the last site facing Rittenhouse Square, which is basically like mini Central Park. This is our second project in Philly. We've been working on this five years to get it approved. It's the owner's gem uh, to get it up in the air, so this is a big day for us all. There's 66 condos and 100 apartments on the lower end. And then you go up to the 26th floor. That's the amenity floor, indoor pool for the condos, gym, the whole nine yards, saunas, and then all uh, condos going up. And there's balconies on the whole building. So they have nice glass balconies looking at the city. Regardless of where you're looking, you have views of the park, view of the city. They're fantastic. has about uh, 35 tractor trailer loads of steel in it and the whole job is uh, about 4,000 tons of steel. So the map foundation ranges from 7 feet thick to 15 feet thick. The surface area is about 10,000 square feet. We basically had to dig a, a giant hole um, sheeting and shoring, lagging, stabilize the buildings um, on both sides, Walnut Street over here, and you know, start installing the rebar for the foundation. It's about 400 tons of rebar we have in there. For anybody that doesn't know it, concrete generates its own heat. It's much tougher in the summer to keep that heat down. So we love cold weather pours for the mat foundation. For the mat foundation, you want to make sure that you've got enough weight down there and enough geometry, so to speak, to keep the tower from tipping over. The interesting thing is this is a 600 foot tall tower. It's going to be one of the tallest tower, if not the tallest tower in Philadelphia. And it's just sitting on dirt. So there's no deep foundations to rock. Pouring the uh, mat foundation, it's 4,260 yards is what we're estimating right now. We're delivering uh, 10 yard truck loads of concrete and over 400 loads that we got to deliver here and trying to get it in before it snows. This is the fourth largest pour we've ever done. Definitely pretty big on the scale of things. It's one of the tougher locations that we've ever had to do it right here in Rittenhouse Square. It's uh, one of the most difficult areas to get to in the city, so that's, that's one of the biggest challenges. Sylvie's so using four plants to tackle the job so we can service the customer with high production and high quality. To be honest, it's kind of like another normal day at Sylvie. We're putting out high quality products at a fast pace. And we do that every day. This is just a bit more coordinated. So this mix has two aggregates, a fine aggregate and a coarse aggregate. So it's concrete sand and 57 stone. We have our loader feed our tunnel bins that feed into the concrete plant. And uh, the aggregate scale is fed by gravity by those two aggregates and then simultaneously we have our cement scale being fed by gravity silos with slag and cement and then the water is pumped into another scale and once all those scales hit their targets they combine into the central mixer which mixes the mix and then we tilt that and load the truck. The 
safety of the Telebel comes into play because it can move the concrete more efficiently, more controlled. There's no kick with the hose. When you're holding a hose on a pump, it could really knock the guy over. Uh, it's just a lot safer and more efficient, and it will do twice the amount as a pump. We can put two trucks at the hopper at a time, and we can literally empty a 10-yard truck in three minutes flat. So one of the fortunate things that we got in this tour was eight police officers and two shifts of them. So we'll have 16 police officers shutting down eight roads. It really is making this project more feasible than had we only had a few roads shut down. basically poured 4,350 yards. Everything went really well. No uh, major issues besides one flat tire. Everything else was, was pretty good. You know, concrete got down, the customers are happy. I think the ownership's happy, Hunter Roberts is happy, and that's all we can ask for. Everything went really well. We averaged more than 500 yards an hour, probably closer to about 600 yards an hour. No one got hurt, everything was good. We're cleaning up, closing down the streets, so it was a good day.